outrageous. It's unfair. We would be honored if you would join us. While many have seen this beautiful picture and, you know, lots of other fan art, and needless to say that it's a massive plot point in my fan film, the question remains, has Vader ever actually visited Padme's grave, both in canon or in Legends? The answer I've got for you is yes and no. So where's this picture from? Well, it's actually from the card game Star Wars Galaxy Series 7, and the card title is Mourning for Padme. It can't be seen in any other Legends comic or canon comic or any other Star Wars material. This one card is in a collection of many others from 2012. The card reads, the dramatic high point of Revenge of the Sith is Anakin Skywalker's final emotional breakdown before his best friend and the woman he desperately loves. It is almost inconceivable that he might do physical harm to Padme, but in a moment of madness, he briefly attempts to. This act is seized upon and exaggerated by Palpatine to amplify Skywalker's guilt and secure his commitment to the dark side. Here, in a profoundly sad illustration by Eric Mill, Vader mourns the tragic loss of his beloved. 2012 Lucasfilm Tops Card. So a few things you guys need to know is that Palpatine actually kept Padme's mausoleum heavily guarded so that no one could inspect her tomb or try to figure out more about her death. Now if you notice in Revenge of the Sith on the streets of Theed, she has a fake bump under her dress to make it look like she was still pregnant when she died so that the children were actually never born, when we all know in actuality they were. The cards were from 2012 and they were legends, so now that Disney has the rights to Star Wars, it would probably not even be legends, more like, you know, legends distant cousin, twice removed or something like that. Now what would showing something like this do for Vader's character if we were to get it today, let's say? It's something that we have not explored in the original trilogy at all, where Vader never spoke of Padme. However, the only conflict we knew him to have was just between the light and dark. In tomorrow's new canon Vader comic, we're going to learn exactly what he's going to do with the Veil of Death and Lord Moment's powers to bring her back in some sort of way. Perhaps time travel, perhaps resurrection, perhaps a way to bridge the afterlife and the living. I don't really know yet, but the comic will be promising, that's for sure. Vader has so much more dynamic emotion than just yes master, no master. He has the biggest conflict within himself of any character I believe that we've ever seen, not just in Star Wars. The fight between the light and dark and right and wrong. He knows it way more than anyone else, but it's his entrapment of the new life that he's chosen and been given that keeps him more entombed than Padme's coffin. He's much more emotional now than he was as Anakin Skywalker, and that's something that we haven't really explored in the original trilogy. I'm hoping that these new comics and, you know, my fan film will explore much more of that, which is the whole point of it. While we've never seen this in any Legends comic or canon ones, I hope to bring this extremely emotional and moving image to life in the fan film episodes. If you guys want to see more about the fan film, just hit that like button. Please support the channel. That's all I ask. I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Fulfill your destiny.